First I ripped open my hand, then I woke a demon. From now on, I'm staying away from that bowl. It's much too heavy for me to be able to move it. I'd rather not. I can no longer find the crack. Let there be eternal darkness. <sighs> eternal darkness. You can turn them on again any time. Mistress, I know I'm no poet, but please, leave my flowery language alone. He died a hero. Wake him! What did he do, mistress? I mustn't lose sight of my goal. I don't need a fireball there. He's dead. I don't need a fire. Let there be light! A grand burial chamber just for you. We'll see about that. Hey! Help! I'm locked in here! A roll of bandages. Make light. Direct my spell at a magical source of fire, and your wish shall be my command. Make light. Direct my... Make light. Direct my... I still can't reach it. That won't get me anywhere. I'll save my strength. The staff is just long enough. I'll take that as a compliment. But in its current form, it's totally useless as a scoop. I'd rather use an... I can easily... I'd rather use a new... I can easily... A roll... 
roll of bandages. It's lying right in front of the door. What are you doing? I can't see a thing. I'm wrapping the bandage around your horns. Whatever for? You'll find out eventually. Once was enough. Got it. Do I have to tell you how humiliating that was? No. I'm perfectly aware. It wouldn't... St it's sticky now. No. I mustn't lose sight of my goal. It's already... Entertaining, isn't it? I've seen better. Oh, how I envy you. Once was hard enough. I don't even know where I should start. I mustn't lose sight of my goal. It's too narrow to climb through. Another hole has opened. Ah! Uh. The I won't get it any f not with my hands. Another hole. It's too narrow. I don't even know where I should start. The arm lacks the support to strike hard enough. I mustn't lose... Ye can't reach it either. The Guardian could pull down the door with the chain. The Guardian could pull down the door with the chain, but it's still too far away. The arm lacks the support to strike hard enough. No. I don't much care for... 
It's holding on tight. Now what? Order the Guardian to pull down the door. Harder. Make him pull harder. He can't. The door is too strong for him. <sighs> if this one can't do it, then another one will have to. It's much too... The spell doesn't work on that. This was the only stone giant in the hall with a will of his own. So you weren't able to play your little games with him? No, I didn't say that. I can't reach that. Ah, oh, Princess, that won't do any good. I've had eons to try and pull down these walls, and I haven't succeeded. Why should a girl achieve so much more in a short time than I did in a millennia? Awaken! Accept it finally and give up. The Guardians are much too weak. I'm too far away. I'm too far away. The Colossus is also a guardian, right? Wake him. Sherry Sand, are you. are you really sure? I said, wake him. As you wish. Take the Guardian and pull. <laughs> What was that? I tore open a door through pure force of will. No, you laughed like a young girl. Hey. You? You're still alive? I waited. You could have helped me. You have the mask. Where's my money? Our employer is dead. You'll get your money if you help me get out of here and take me through the mountains to Draconia. <laughs> Wait. Stop. I'll pay you. You? You forget. I'm a princess. What do you have? You will have this silver platter in payment. Silver is not enough. As the daughter of the Caliph, I possess wealth beyond your imagining. The Caliph is dead. The palace plundered. I was there. It... My... Almandin, it's worth more than anything else you'll ever hold in your hands. Huh. Good draconia for the ruby. Deal. He'll make a poor servant to you. At least I know what to make of him. May I ask you something else? Because I don't understand you. Why are you doing all this? You're rich. Beautiful. You have power. What else do you want to achieve? I want to go to war, and I need a weapon. But why? To win the battle, to be immortalized in history. A thousand years from now, people will tell tales of my deeds and whisper my name in awe. Sadia al-Kabir, the greatest heroine 
the world has ever seen. Sadia Al-Kabir? Never heard of her. Neither you nor anyone else. The poor girl has been utterly forgotten. How does the story continue? With the help of the Frakina, Sadia took the mask over the Rashtulian Wall to Draconia. She joined the troops there and went to battle. But those are all unimportant details. Don't concern yourself with them. Only one thing matters. The riddle I shall now tell you. The inscription on the burial chamber. How can the rest of the story not be important? Well, it is important, but not for you. Trust me. In this one case, ignorance is truly a blessing. If no one remembers her, how do you know that this woman really existed? I investigated it myself. Malachar's burial chamber really existed, and over 450 years ago, a young woman was seen climbing out of that very tunnel with a fakina and setting out towards the Rashtulian Wall. I swear to you, in the name of my father and all my forefathers, Sadia's tale is a true story. Do I understand you correctly? The glowing inscription on the burial chamber, that's the riddle. Quite correct. An archaic inscription written in ancient Talamedia. As an educated Talamede princess, Sadja was the only one who could read it. I created a transcription from my memory, and an old friend translated it for me. It reads as the stone over the scarab. So rules the scarab over the stone. Enter if to you the answer is known. If not, then forever your life I'll own. Eerie. I believe Sadia knew the answer, else she would never have entered the chamber. But why didn't she tell the others? Didn't she send them all to their doom that way? I see you paid attention. I give you three days to solve the riddle. On the fourth day, I'll move on, whether you know the answer or not. And if I solve it by then? You shall have what you want from me. A spell of the mightiest transformation. A spell which transforms any living being into any form you desire. Deal. <laughs> I like you, Geron. I'm certain our business will turn out well for both of us. Believe me, I hope so too. Strange fellow. Nuri, I'm back. I think I found someone who can help you. Nuri? I'm here. What's wrong? My wound opened. My wing is bleeding again. Oh, no. Were you playing with animals again? You're a raven now. You can't do that anymore. I wasn't playing. It just opened again. It doesn't look too bad. You lie and rest. I'll make a salve for you. For Nuri's salve of healing, I need to mix ground-up whirlweed with salve fat. Salve fat. I can only pray that the Lady Perina will allow the use of simple grease just this once. I tried everything. I asked her Zinda clerics, stole magic books from the school, made pacts with witches. Nothing and nobody can restore the power of the artifact. And anyway, Nuri's old body is lost forever. I hope this far he will keep his promise. Ah, I can grind up the herb with the knife handle. There. By Travia, it's all greasy. It'll take half the night to scrape out the fat with that. I'll cut out a rag. The rags now covered in fat. Perina, 
Please let this fact be enough for Nuri's wound. It's all I have. There. And next, we'll make you a fairy again. Did you meet the man? Yes. I don't know if I can trust him, though. But if Giacomo is right, then soon everything will be like it used to be. You'll be as tall as a human again, and together we'll travel across Aventuria and have one adventure after another. <sighs> when do you think I'll be able to fly again? Let's see how your wound is doing tomorrow. Maybe we can go and practice a little. Fine. Sleep well, Garon. Sleep well, and don't worry. Soon everything will be as it was. As the stone over the scarab, so rules the scarab over the stone. Enter if to you the answer is known. If not, then forever your life I'll own. And again, this time you can do it. I don't know. Don't be discouraged. Think about something nice. Think about... Isn't it a wonderful feeling to have defeated the seer and finally be free? I don't want to think about it. Those months in the cave were horrible. I shouldn't have brought it up. Do you remember? <laughs> Do you remember that dwarf in the Tash Mountains? The one with the blue beard? He was funny. And the knight, Bogomil Rathling? The two of them were always arguing. And the grouchy fisherman, and Isida, the gypsy? I'm sorry, I forgot about Isida. Nuri, you must have one nice memory. Do you remember... Before we reached Enqui, we went rowing on the svelte, past fields and windmills. We were attacked in a mill. That was before. I meant later. They almost killed us. We're still alive, aren't we? It's time you become a fairy again. Do you remember how happy and carefree you used to be? Of course I remember. That makes me even sadder. Come on. That's enough for today. Do I have to go back in the cage? Unfortunately, yes. With a pet raven on my shoulder, the Andagastrians will immediately take me for a warlock again. I'm glad those days are over. Oh well. Hmm. On the way back, let's stop by Fai's tent. He has such a carefree manner. I'm sure he'll raise your spirits. Garon? Yes? I want to be like I was in former times too. But I don't know how. So much has happened. Ah, we'll manage somehow. This is where we met for the first time. You were trying to catch me like a bird. How was I to know you'd be so big and so stubborn? You're a fine one to talk. <laughs> You're right. Even if we don't have a whole lot in common, we can certainly agree on that. Hmm. Who are those people? These statues scare me. They look like the pillars from Fai's tail, only with faces. Hey there, what's going on? <sighs> Prider? Master Bodiak? This man is disturbing my investigation. Talk to him, send him away. I have no time for this sort of thing. I'm sorry, but the School of Arcane Combat of Andergast has closed off this area until further notice. You should go home. What happened here? A mob from the city wanted to chase a traveling merchant out of the country. And this is what became of them. Ta-da! Ancient Tulumid pillars with an Andergastrian core. No trace of the merchant. He disappeared? Yep, now shoo. Otherwise the same thing might happen to you too. Everything's cursed. Far he was our best chance to heal you. But isn't he evil? Didn't he petrify those people? Nuri, that was an Andergastrian lynch mob. Had I been able, I would have turned them into stone too. He must have left a trace around here somewhere. I'd better find it before the mages from the School of Arcane Combat do. Otherwise, we'll be right back where we started. Hey, anybody in there? She can't hear a thing. And if you keep yelling like that, neither can I. So, please. 
Watch it, lad. I've got sharp eyes. The pillar. It has the face of the butcher woman from the market. What happened here? A stone pillar with a stone sword and an elaborately chiselled beard. If it really were chiselled, that is. Hands off! This zone is restricted. Psst! Nuri, can you do me a favour? Distract the mage. Hop behind the statue and talk to him. He'll think you're the petrified woman. Shall I tell him about King Chestnut and the turnip ghosts? No, just answer his questions. What questions? And what should I say? Listen, how many attackers were there? Eleven to fifteen. What did the mage look like? He wore a crocus-coloured brooch on his left breast. How do you know all that? I don't know anything. I'm just guessing. From what direction did the attack come? It came out of the forest. And in what direction did they depart? To the northwest. Can you remember all that? Only just. Oh, what a waste of time. It appears the spirit of these peasants has been extinguished once and for all. Well, okay, just put in tobacco if do I have to, then make this sad. Ha! I have contact. What did she say? Shh! Do you need help taking her? Well. No, so the report isn't her. difficult. I can that. memorize it. Do -do. I'm not going back until... Hands off! Not as long as that... Nuri, tell the mage something else. When he asks how many attack... Eleven... If he... It... Had... it... And the... To the... Can you... What was he... A then let's go. Thanks, Nuri. Major Eagle. Hmm. The statement has changed. They came from the north west and then went where? Ida, what are you? I can't remember all this by myself. Keep them busy for a while. Not as long as that maid. I can't just. Re Why? Nothing's happening. Most locks aren't terribly impressed with my pathetic spell. Whatever's in there, it smells awful. They smell funny, somehow. Oh, my head. My fex. What is this stuff? That's enough, Bryder. We have a statement. Have you thoroughly searched the crime scene? Yeah, nothing there. If there's anything else, it must be in the tent. I'll just finish writing this up. Uh-oh. If only there were a door here.
Come on, close, quickly. Made it. And don't disturb the crime scene. I'll hear every sound. That was close. Huh? There's another one here. Apparently the Majors haven't even found him yet. Prius be with me. That's the mask from the burial chamber. What else has that merchant fellow been keeping from me? Another petrified person. He's got the mask firmly clutched in his hand. I need to use rougher measures if I want to get it loose. If these really are petrified people, I need to be careful with my spell. It keeps the cart in place. Hard to believe that Fahi managed to load all his belongings on there. Hard to believe. Good riddance. Fits. I really impressed the kid with this. She surely won't mock me again. It's standing in the exact... Only the petrified people were added since then. I still need a hammer. It would break, the mage would turn around and spot me at once. Hmm. anything. Oh, I have no idea what everyone sees in her. He's too... Got it, and now I'm out of here. Oh, who do we have here? Brider, there's a new suspect. Huh? Uh... What have you got there, boy? This? That can't be. Master Bodiak, what is that? Nothing. Take it from him and give it to me. That um, is quite obviously a very dangerous artifact. I must immediately take it to the school for study. Uh, question the swineherd in the meantime. Understood. So who are you? And why are you sneaking around here? You can't just take the artifact. Look at me when I'm talking to you. The school of arcane combat wants to know what terrible thing has happened around here. I, on the other hand, am surprised at how boring our investigations have been so far. So. Please don't make this too easy for me or I'll be even more disappointed. First question. What sort of artifact was that? That was an ancient magical weapon. In the wrong hands, it could cause untold harm. And how did someone like you come to possess something so powerful? It was suddenly in my pocket. I don't know how it got there. <laughs> really? Is that all? Can I go now? I like that you're lying. That makes you more suspicious, and this case is finally getting a bit more interesting. And now for my last question. Who are you anyway? 
I'm King Ephedon the First. Now it's getting silly. Fine, that's all. You may go. Seriously? I can see from a hundred paces that you're harmless. Or do you have another question before you return to your uneventful life? Are you good at riddles? What sort of riddles? How about... As the stone over the scarab, so rules the scarab over the stone? What's the context? Um, I can't tell you. Then I can't solve it. Your teacher seemed very excited about my artifact. That's the way he is. He collects rare artifacts, travels around a lot for them. Supposedly, he once even went to the Rastulian Wall to Draconia. But I don't know any more about that. What happened to the Ptolemyde? We don't know. He probably won't be too far. All his belongings are still here. We suspect he's hiding in the forest. What happened here? Didn't I already tell you? Last night, five Andagastrians got together at the Fat Ham Inn to drive a Ptolemyde merchant from the forest. And they were found like this the next morning. You didn't say that they met at the inn, or that there were five of them. Well, now you know. You're a novice at the wizard school, right? Right. A combat mage in training. Forever damned to serve the Andagastrian nobility in their mindless squabbling with Nostria. Why don't you leave if you don't like it? First I have to make it through my training. Well, I think that's enough. Get lost so I can keep searching in peace. I think I've seen enough. Come on, Nuri. I'll take you home. What should we do now? Did you hear what the mage said? She mentioned there were five people in the mob, but there were only four pillars in the clearing. What if the fifth person escaped? There would be a witness. Or you just let me stay a raven. It isn't all that bad. Not as long as I can do something about it. I'll ask around in town and try to find out what happened to Fai. You'd better stay here. I'm tired anyway. I'll just sleep for a while. Will you wake me if there's any news? I will. Sweet dreams. Anyone who's different will end up there sooner or later. At least I was spared that when I was young. I prefer the well outside the gates. And since yesterday, I also know why. You ugly beasts. After I solve Fai's riddle, I'll hopefully never have to lay my eyes on you again. This is the district boundary. It's exactly where the stench from the tanneries ends and the smell of the pig urine begins. I bid you a good morning. What is a jester doing in Hilda's booth? I'm no mountebank. I'm a businessman. Should I wear rags like you? Oh, how I loathe these country bumpkins. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Can I interest you in some colourful ceramics? Or perhaps some fine glassware? I'm just passing through, so it's now or never. Can you tell me anything about a stone and a scarab? Is it a regular stone or a precious stone? Hmm. Good question. That's enough. Thanks. You deal in glassware. I heard that there is no glass in Undergast. You don't even have windows in this humble corner of the world. I came here to change that. How was I supposed to know that these stinking pig farmers don't have any money? Did you notice anything suspicious last night? Hmm. Did the thief visit you too? What thief? One of my glass boxes was stolen. I could only see the fellow from a distance. He carried a long staff on his back. Lasted herdsman. Maybe it was a magic staff. By the gods! What would a magician want with my cheap goods? I mean, I wouldn't have thought this rebel had that much taste. What was stolen? A jewellery box made from fake gemstones. The junk wasn't worth anything anyway. Then why was it stolen? D did I say that out loud? It was worth a fortune, of course. Weren't you going to buy anything? No, thank you. Such a waste of time. 
The warriors in the temple don't like me. They think I'm a cowardly louse who only brings them misfortune in combat. At least that's what they say. They seem so cheerful and carefree. Hard to believe that at some point they'll grow up to be Andergastrians. Ah, the circle of life. Here, piglets are happily suckled, and at the inn they're serving pork roast. It's a never-ending loop. Geron! Giacomo! Hello, Geron. Hello, Hilda. What luck! Here I was thinking I'd sent you to your doom. Is it true what they say? Have people really been turned into stone pillars? Yes, it's true. By the gods! Were you here yesterday evening? Yes, but in my room. The mood downstairs was too aggressive for me. There was a lot of alcohol involved. Can you remember who was here? Hmm... The three at the next table, and then four others. Five people attacked Fahi's tent yesterday, but only four were petrified. So the fifth must be here in this room. But which of the three is it? How's the fairy research coming along? All my energy is going into researching the reasons for Nuri's tragic transformation. It's difficult enough to study a people that don't even exist in Aventuria. Now I have to understand an exchange of souls between a raven and a fairy as well. I don't know how I can ever repay you for your help. Well, um, there is something. Tell me. Can you bring me some wine from Hilda's bar? She won't give me any. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Geron. You can put it in here. How do you know Fahi? I met him on my travels. He was said to own a rare fairy artifact I was interested in. He's an artifact dealer? He trades in them. But I never got the impression that he knows much about them. He even tried to sell me the fairy artifact as a mere ritual stone from the southern jungles. <laughs> he had no idea what a treasure he was sitting on. If Fahi is just a simple merchant, where did he get the power to transform Nuri back? I don't know his secret, but I saw it with my own eyes. We were enjoying a cup of Tulamid gold when he brought out a pot with a berry bush and transformed it into a crane before my very eyes. It could have been an illusion. No, Geron. It was the most powerful magic I have ever seen. And he was smiling cheerfully as though it was no effort at all. Geron. That man can mold lives into other forms as he wishes. Even into stone? I assume so. What about Fahi's dream? Princess Sajah's journey? He only told me the beginning. Do you know the rest? No. But the battle which he joined was the great battle in the Gorian Desert between the demon lord Borbarat and Rohal the Wise. All Aventuria struggled to save the world from the demon invasion. Unfortunately, there was no one who could relate to the tale. Why not? There wasn't a single survivor. What about Fahi's riddle? The stone and the scarab? I don't know. But perhaps it's the key to this whole story. Can a single riddle really be that important? Fai seemed convinced of it. Let's talk about something else. Thanks, Giacomo. I'll see you later. Wait. Fahi may prove to be a dark mage, but if you want to transform Nuri back, he's our only hope. What are you talking about? Fairies need fairy magic nearby, or their spirit changes. And for a long time, Nuri's body was the greatest source of fairy magic that she had. That means if you don't change her back soon, she'll lose everything that makes her a fairy. She'll forget everything. She'll forget who you are and what you experience together. She'll even forget who she once was. We can't let that happen. Do you have any idea what happened to Fai? No, but I will soon. Hey, who was with the mob in the forest yesterday? They're very obstinate fellows. I'll handle them somehow. A sight for the gods. 